on the One Life Network, some of their main concerns is, um, is this a Ponzi scheme? And when you have a digital product that you cannot touch, like an education package, of course, people are more skeptical. So um, I respect everybody who has questions or who criticize uh, or just wants to talk to us. But what I do not like is when people do not do their homework and do not check what is going on. Now, a Ponzi scheme, we all know what it is. A Ponzi scheme means that new money feeds old money. So we had this Bernie Madoff scandal somewhere, like the guy was taking investments from the public, uh, promising huge returns and then paying out the returns, not because he was a smart investor, but because he had, uh, you know, taken new money in. And it's one point of time it stopped. When you join the One Life Network, what happens? First of all, we have never made any return um, promises. Why? Because we are selling the education package. It's up to you if you mine the coin or not. What will happen to the cryptocurrency? We do not know. And this is a very, very clear statement. Cryptocurrency is one of the most risky asset classes out there. Nobody knows what will happen. It can go through the roof, but it also can like not go through the roof. So both is possible. But what is important when you speak about a Ponzi scheme is, first of all, we give people the opportunity to make money without paying for a position. Every week I have between 300 and 500 people in the network, sometimes even more, who have a non-paid position, a rookie position, and who make commission on them. These people also can earn tokens to go and join the mining. So, um, of course, it's not a Ponzi scheme if I let you work for free and make you make, let you make money making for free. I'm paying you, you don't pay me, point one. And the second point, which is very important, as I said, this fresh money feeding old money. Now, why and how am I obliged as a One Life Network to pay you? I'm obliged to pay you only a commission when you earn it. And you earn the commission only by uh, making a sale. So only if you go and you sell a package, I am obliged to pay you. So I do not need to get somebody in my network to meet my obligation. If you all stop selling tomorrow, I don't have any obligations anymore to anyone on paying commission because there's no sales event coming up. And this is very, very important. Whoever is interested, but unfortunately a lot of our critics are not interested in this, can check out also the legal opinions that we have. We have a Swedish legal opinion, we have an English legal opinion, we have a German legal opinion, Italian I think also. All of these uh, jurisdictions are quite strict and have very clear rules. And all of this are saying we are not a Ponzi. Now, one thing that I would like again to make sure in the network I believe that we as a company are very clear on what we do and what we don't. But sometimes some people get overexcited and say things that are simply not correct. So I again would like to ask all of our distributors to take education extremely serious. Educate the people that go out there, educate the downline and the distributors so that the information that we provide to new people is correct. Because I believe our company and our product is exciting enough, we don't need to be selling so hard and saying things that are not correct. If you present the project in the right way, and if you present the stages that we go through, if your people are encouraged to go through the education, it is much easier for all of us. Because we then understand one coin as a cryptocurrency needs to go through stages. It is uh, for sure not uh, get rich in 90 days thing. And I really do not want people to market this like this. Sometimes, you know, all this, how we're portrayed by the media is our own fault. A lot of things that the media write is distributor X said that. And even if distributor X said something wrong, I cannot attack this and I cannot get a lawyer to go against this because he really said this. And this is very frustrating also for us as a company. So again, guys, try and... Um, get the right information, educate your downlines and just make sure that uh, we do the right things out there. So um, we had 